Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to tell you about the new updated Google Jamboard app. This is the Jamboard app on Chromebooks. There it is. It's the Android app. You get it in the Play Store. There's the Play Store, right? And it's brand new. It is updated for the material design of Google. Just a quick tour of what's different real quick. You're going to see in your jams, you're going to see this shows that this has been shared. This shows that link sharing is on. If I click through to a jam, I had somebody ask me the other day, so how can I change the background? And the background on the web, you see the button like right over here. It says like ch change the frame background. It's right here and three dots and let's change the background, make it graph paper. Oh, math teachers rejoice, hooray. And you can apply to all, okay. Your basic toolbar uh, right here is similar. Uh, the big changes come one with the pens they actually label them assistive drawing tools right here. You have to click this or tap this. And by the way, I'm doing all this with my mouse right now. This Jamboard app on Chromebooks is now a lot more responsive to mice and to uh, trackpads. But if I click this, there's your shape, uh, excuse me, your handwriting recognition, your shape recognition, and your auto draw. These are the tools that really make students and teachers go banana when it comes to Jamboard. So that's where those are. And then those other tools, such as like emojis and insert image and insert from drive, all live with the plus and it comes up from the bottom center. There's your sticky note. Your images will be a web search of images and they will be labeled for reuse. Your drive content, your camera, image library, it just means upload image from your device. And then stickers are the stickers like you remember them. They're, yep, same, nothing new about that. And one last thing I'll share with you is here are maybe the most important buttons, undo and redo. And so if I undo, oh, we're out of graph paper, but if I redo, we're back to graph paper. So the app is really the same. We did lose one thing we've lost is the web, insert web content. Now you just have to put that on your hard drive and put it in the image li library, take a screen capture. And the reason I think they did that is because now iPads, it's like labeled for four and above, not like 17 and above. Even though it was safe, so, eh, don't worry about it. It's, it's basically the same great app that it's always been. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.